still once there was VI but because it didn't have completion people didn't like it and went from VI to Vim from Vim to NeoVim and from NeoVim to NeoVim's telescope inside that way they could finally list their files and search for them nicely wherever they were at that moment Come on, I've recorded this so many times, and yet still. And from telescope, they went on. Because the primogen needed a way to quickly move between the files that he found no, don't do that. He found using telescope. And he thought, wouldn't it be really nice if I could quickly switch between four files? And if I could also list them? And what if I could also write them? I did not prepare properly for this, but yeah. Telescope serves a lot of people. I use telescope. I use Neovim. And Harpoon does two things. This is just one of them. The other thing it does is handle terminals, because sometimes you have multiple terminals and you want to send something. I have to be honest. I don't quite understand exactly what Harpoon does. It seems to be quite a complicated project. However... I have used superficially some of Harpoon. And... While I genuinely appreciate all of the things that it offers, sometimes I just wonder, couldn't everything be done more simply? And simple can mean a lot of things, okay? And I'm afraid now battery will fall to zero, so I better wrap this up. Come on. <sighs> My time goes backwards, so I have to say that I really appreciate, first of all, the projects. And the fact that it all went from VI to Vim to NeoVim to the plugins. And I truly appreciate DJ, he's an awesome guy. And I especially appreciate the Primogen. She has done a lot of good to me, even personally. And I cannot just bash his project. It seems to be an awesome project. It seems that I don't really understand the scope of these two projects. However, does this video bend a little bit your mind on how plugins should have worked? <sighs> because VI warmups did that to me in less than a week. So, tell me, let me know if you are interested in a VI video, perhaps, and that has to be it. Okay, I don't want to do a retake, so let me just clarify a few things. Um, first of all, you can shorten these things by making executables with short names and putting them in local bin or something like that. It's very straightforward. Also, would you imagine if Vim, what it actually was, was a quicker way to just print these colon e file name things, different ways to print them out built in. 
and when you hover on top of a line that starts with colon E and space and has a file name, then it shows you a preview. Would you imagine stuff like that? Would you imagine if that was the extension from VI to NeoVim, so that you could also go backwards? And I feel like people don't appreciate the fact that you can see through VI all the way to the end. For example, that terminal, the way that you could do git log, that was the real terminal that VI was run in. So it didn't make its own terminal, it didn't emulate any terminal, it was kind of simple. And you could... <sighs> this is so hard to explain to people, but you could predict when it will not work, so that you don't spend time trying to make it work and hoping that it can work, you just predict that it won't work. Uh, also another thing to mention is that... How was it again? Uh, it was called Harpoon. Harpoon <laughs> was made because buffer previews and buffer next and global marks weren't enough. These are all Vim extensions to VI. Global marks, buffers, they don't exist in VI. So, yeah. <laughs>